Okay, we are moving into the holiday seasons, okay? And those that have been trading in the past um, and are consistent and profitable, you know the fact is, is that the market kind of slows down somewhat uh, as we approach the holiday months, meaning volume-wise, people are taking time off, wrapping things up into the fourth quarter. But I wanted to talk about today uh, because 2024, we will be you know, moving out, which is kind of crazy to say because this year has went by so fast, and opening up a new year uh, of 2025, okay? Uh, we've got elections behind us now, and now hopefully we got another maybe good solid month, month and a half of trading, um, and then the year will pretty much wrap up, okay? Um, so if you're, you know, for all those out there that are looking to or possibly trying to educate themselves as this point right now and are interested in making money trading, whether it's from a part-time or full-time standpoint, you want to make a living doing it, you just need a few extra hundred dollars a, a week or a month, I'm going to show you um, how simple it really is to make a minimum of $500 a day for those that are, you know, maybe you have a goal of making $500 a day trading uh, futures, okay? So this is for those gearing up ramping up to move into 2025 and start to trade you know live and, and maybe some individuals or many individuals are you know they've got funded uh, accounts that they are making money on or have passed uh, challenges and are now ready to start making money and kind of been holding out and said hey i'm going to stay into kind of training mode in a sense uh into the new year but anyways let me show you because Supply and demand is particularly the strategy in, in how I trade, okay? Um, it's pretty simple, you know, lots of times, or most times I'm just using multi-chart confluence, using a higher base chart and then a lower base chart. But I want to show you just like looking at today's trading session, all right? Even though we were bullish to the upside, your opportunities and the only type of trades you should have been taking are going long 100%, okay? And you should know this because if you know market structure, you know that the market was just making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, coming out of the Asian into London into the US session. I mean, we didn't even start folding back down and starting breaking structure or getting a trend reversal in the opposite direction. Don't know how long this thing is going to um, you know, hold to the upside. But I mean, yesterday was elections and we ramped up. Today we're still ramping up. So, I mean, so far the markets have been pushing hard to the upside with kind of like, uh, you know, really no significant pullbacks. I'll say it that way. All right. Uh, but that, I do want to show you and talk to you about, you know, how it is, how you're able to make $500, you know, if you're looking to start off into 2025 and, you know, you're ready to start trading. How can you do that each and every day consistently? Now, not every day may you find or where there will be a, you know, a supply or a demand set up on it could be a particular instrument, whatever the case is. So sometimes you're going to have to look maybe at different markets. So um, and then sometimes when, I'm, when I say that, you may not find like a high probability setup. Now, this was a a, a low probability setup right here, but there was still a um, a gap resting on the inside of the zone. So sometimes you'll see that where like if I mark this up, you can see that there's no gap back to the zone, but there's a gap resting on the inside of the zone on this little, on this candle here, this bullish candle to the upside right there. The market comes back to it. So to me, it's a low probability setup because there's no gap at the zone, but the market still react there. Um, and you can take low probability setup trades, but you want to be looking for some additional evidence on your lower base charts. So like right here with the market pushes up. So let's say this is a low probability zone, right? All right, but then I go down to my higher base, uh, I'm assuming my lower base chart, there could be a, a high probability zone on the lower base chart, okay, but not one here on the higher base chart. And you can still take that take that setup. So because this is still a valid supply, I mean, excuse me, demand zone, if I say supply, please forgive me, demand zone here in which the market pulls back to this area here. And when the market does get there, again, there's a small gap on the inside of that zone there. So it's still a, you know, a high chance that the market could actually uh, re react at this area because when it came back, it didn't fill in. It filled in, when it came back, it came back and filled that the remaining portion of that gap back on the inside of the zone. But so I'm going I'm to move down to my lower base chart to show you. This is the area. Let me do this so we can see it across all charts. All right. So when the market comes back here, that's what we see on the on the 120 range chart. It comes back, and I trade range based charts for anyone watching. I don't trade time based or ticker volume. 
Um, I talked about that about that in many videos, so please watch the videos as to why I trade range-based charts. Um, and I'll just simply say that it's just clear to the eye for me to be able to see uh, market structure and the movement of the uh, the market when it comes to price action. But the market comes back, pulls or taps into that higher base zone. But if I pay close attention here, there is a smaller um, demand zone on the inside of the 24 range chart, my, my entry chart. So when I see confluence like that, where I have a zone within a zone, I'm interested in taking a trade like that. All right. And I talk about where to take the trade to. You know, if you look to like the left hand side right here, when the market was coming down, just there's gaps that need to be filled back to the all the way back up to the upside. Like, I mean, even right here is a gap that needs to be filled in this remaining portion of this candle right here. Uh, up in here, there, there are gaps that need to be filled back up in here. So you can aim for those areas for the market to fill those, you know, gaps back to the upside. Those are, are you know, uh, imbalances in the market that need to be that need to be corrected or, um, you know, where the market needs to go back and test and fill those areas. in. so uh, so if I look at what, what took place here on my higher base chart, well, OK, I can see that there's the market needs to come back and fill, fill the remaining portion of this area here. So the market has a high chance because we have a small gap resting on the inside of a zone, even though it's low probability. There's still a gap there that the market filled in. And then on the high, on, on the lower base chart, there's actually a high probability zone resting on the inside of the larger 120. I'm going to take that trade, okay? So when the market reacts there, I'm looking for the break and close of the candle. And let's say you got in here around 703. Your stop loss is going to go on the back end right here at 20,691. Give yourself a few points, maybe two or three points right there, because they love to push up and come back and test people's stops right there where buyers stepped into the market. All right, so uh, if you got in here at 703 and, and took the market on up to fill these gaps back up to the upside, I mean, you could definitely see here, this is 30 points back up to, to fill these gaps in this area here. You know, and we're aiming for, you know, I talk about 20 points in, in most videos, but you know, it depends on the number of contract you're trading. If you're someone that's interested in trading, say, the mini futures, and you, only, you, you don't have a big or a large size, um, um, say, live, account, a personal account if you open up, um, or you, you know, you're trading with a prop firm um, and you only want to trade with one e-mini uh, contract, then you can do this. I mean, you just, you know, you just kind of, uh, once you're into the trade, you hold your position and you move your stop up accordingly each time the market makes a high, a new higher low. So when the market comes up and starts to make a high, higher low, and then breaks again to the upside, move your stop up to this last um, higher low right here and then it comes back makes a new higher low new high move it right here each time it starts doing that to where it's making a higher low and the market breaks above to make a new high then bring it up to the most recent um the bot at the back end of the most recent higher low is what i'm trying to say all right so that's a pretty easy way of making 500 dollars trading you know uh one contract in 2025 for those that are preparing and and looking to start trading you know, like, again, like from part time or full time basis. Now, uh, there was actually even a, a good setup on the um, the ES I saw earlier today, and it was a setup to where a short setup, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, you can see where the market came to the upside here. All right. And to today's session, uh, prior to the market opening up at 930 uh, pre market, there was a double top it made here and then it came down. All right. And it broke a bit of structure below this area here. Then it pulled back, leaving behind this area of demand. And this is a high probability, um, not demand, I'm sorry, supply. If I said demand, sorry, guys, supply. Um, when you're talking sometimes and, you, you know, you, you just, I know what I'm looking at. It's just sometimes the the words I use kind of interchangeably and I don't mean to. But anyways, we have a double top here, pushes down, supply area here at the breaking structure, comes back. So this is a sign of reversal where they're making a double top. And then now they're, uh, uh, having sell pressure to the downside where it's breaking structure and then taking out some prior areas to the left where there was, um, you know, buying activity. So pull us back. You can look for opportunity, mark up the higher uh, su base supply zone here and then move down to like, this is on a 60 range chart. So when I trade the ES, I'm looking at a, um, you know, 60 range chart and then my entry chart is going to be my 12 range. So if I move down to my 12 range on the ES, it pulls back right here and there is a high probability Supply zone right here, but the market breaks through it. And that's that's fine. You're going to see that happen sometimes. So there's two things you can do. You, I talk about in videos. You can wait for a, a breaker structure back to the downside on the lower base chart and look for a pullback. 
In this case here, what I saw uh, and uh, actually what I did here on this trade here, um, and I did take this trade here. I just didn't post over in the Discord because I got busy and, you know, I don't post every one of my trades over in the Discord. But anyways, uh, this was a short opportunity. So what you have is on the higher base chart, the 60 range is where we have uh, a supply area, right? All right, and the market is breaking structure to the downside, and it's got a double top, sign of rejection that they want to push lower. So then it broke through this small, smaller uh, uh, base chart uh, supply zone, right? Just wicked it out. But there's an area of support being, I mean, I'm not support, resistance being built up in this right here. See, the market came down, pulled back, made a high here. Okay, you can see it. Then it pushes lower, it comes back and tests this area again. So now we have uh, resistance being built up in this area here to where it, it tests that area. So we have a high probability supply zone off the 120 and then a support, I mean, a res, not support, <laughs> resistance area uh, formed here on the 12 range chart. Okay, so when we get the rejection on the lower base chart here, uh, I can look for the break in the close of the candle to go short. Again, this is a resistance setup, but I'm, I'm trading it off a supply area off of the hunt, not 120. If I said that, I'm sorry, guys. The 60 range, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the ES here. Uh, when I talk about the 120, I'm trading the NASDAQ, I'm looking at the 120 higher base chart, and then on the NASDAQ for my entry base chart, I'm looking at a 24 range. So 120R. 24R NASDAQ, 60R, 12R for the uh, ES E-mini, okay, futures, all right? So that's why I, I found this opportunity to be very interesting for me uh, off the ES today. Um, again, supply followed up with a resistance uh, setup to the downside. And then we broke structure here. I'm back on the NASDAQ, back to the upside. I had this area here marked off, but it never came back to it. So... It's one of those things now, okay, what will happen when it gets back to there? We don't know. I mean, you got to pay attention to uh, price action, the structure of the market as it's coming back down because if it starts rejecting from the top, you know, it could start to show signs of weakness and then show signs to where it's rejecting, uh, where it may, it may start breaking structure below, lower. And then this, this zone here, it may not hold because it's, it'll be an older zone, especially if the market starts to form on the upside to where it's rejecting and showing signs of reversal. By the time it gets here and it starts breaking structure lower, it could be a clear sign that the market may just kind of push through this area. So, you know, this is why I talk about newer zones that form like right here, pushed up, pulled back, broke structure, and then came back to the downside. All right. Didn't show any significant sign of weakness coming back down. I mean, you know, a double top, breaking through any uh, major area of structure or creating, you know, back to the downside. It came right back to this area here. This was formed at... 10.010 or 10.08, it came back at about an hour later, less than an hour later, it came back to it, but it came straight back to it, and then it blasted off to the upside. So this right here was the trade of the day on the uh, the NASDAQ uh, futures. But this is how you can do it each and every day. Basically checking one trade a day, aiming for 500 bucks, you know, using multi-chart confluence. And I talked about yesterday uh, on the 5th, I mean, it was election, but day but there were opportunities i mean we had a double bottom here sign of rejection market pull, uh, pushing up pulling back breaking structure to the upside there was a uh, demand zone here broke again to the upside came back no, another demand zone here so there were opportunities you, you look for uh if there's a reversal happening in the market look for that pattern in which i talked about a few days ago to where the market is you know breaking structure to the upside like i think i have it over here i'll show it to you right quick here it is like right here, when it starts to come to the bottom, you're making new lows, right? All right, it's make a low, lower high, lower low, okay? And then it, it pushes up, doesn't break the prior low or the, the, the low makes a, a high, higher low, break structure here and then break structure to the left. That's a sign that they're buyers coming in, taking out sellers and they're pushing higher. So you have to be able to see things like that to understand the rejection and give to understand the confirmation of when to... Um, you know, either go short or go long. But that's all I wanted to do today was to share that with you to let you know that, hey, a new year is coming around the corner. And if you trade and be patient and, and have much discipline in your style of trading and stick to your trading plan, then you can easily make $500 a day. And that's like $2,500 a week or more. And we're just, if you're trading the NASDAQ, then it's just 25, 25 points per day trading one contract. You double up, trade two contracts, that's $1,000 a day. So you could definitely do it, but please do your, yourself the favor to 
master market structure first all right that's all i want to share so if you're not a current subscriber right now i would greatly appreciate it if you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button become part of the team today make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of the uploads here on the channel got lots of great content uh in which i show you in and out the strategy and how i trade now if you're interested in becoming an elite member to where you get more in-depth um you know a view of of how i actually trade to where I go over, you know, tons of trade breakdowns so that you understand because the more that you spend time, you know, or watching this video content uh, surrounding these breakdowns, of these trades, you'll start to grasp certain trades to set up some what you can take yourself. So if you're interested in becoming an elite member, the link is down in the description portion of the video. Scroll down. You'll see one. The, the first link is for the Discord if you're interested in joining. The second link is the link that says become an elite member all you have to do is click that link two tiers of pop up you'll see uh two tiers of pop up you'll see a link not a link but you'll see uh the second tier which is for six dollars and 99 cent make sure to choose the second tier for six dollars and 99 cent that's a month you know i mean think about it that's for a whole month okay six dollars and 99 cent most people spend way more than that for uh their lunch on a day or price a cup of coffee for six dollars and 99 cent a month you can pretty much change you know your trajectory in life and start making some extra money if you can master this stuff and understand the strategy so the link to become an elite member is down in the description portion of the video again make sure to choose the second link i mean the second tier for six dollars and 99 cent but outside of that, that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate it. Take care. Uh, uh, and today's about over. I mean, I'm, we're about a half an hour out for the market closes. But do me a favor right now and drop a like on the video. Click that like button if you found value in today's content, in today's video. And you are ready to start making money into the new year for all those that are just kind of like demo or, or simulation trading. And maybe you're saying, hey, I'm going to hold off to the beginning of the year. Drop a uh, comment down below. Let me know. Are you trading live right now or are you ramping up to start prepping for yourself to start trading in 2025? Who in this group, who is watching right now, is getting ready to go live in 2025 and start trading? Leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear. Take care.